I just got a crazy idea after recently learning about induction. So the challenge of this video is can I use 3D printing and magnets to cook tiny food? That's right, cooking with fast spinning magnets. I've been 3D printing a lot recently because I really want to make this happen. But first off, how is this even possible? Here's my cat to help me explain. Aluminum or aluminium is not magnetic, but something interesting happens when a magnet quickly moves by. The magnet induces an opposite magnetic field called eddy currents in the conductive aluminum. And if the magnetic polarity quickly switches back and forth, these flip-flopping eddy currents produce heat. I've got three designs I want to try out. I found this cool squeeze fan model on Thingiverse, and I think I can alter it to spin magnets. Some assembly required. I'm going to mark the same one side on each of the magnets to make sure I alternate the polarity. What I like about this design is that the weight of the magnets help keep the disc spinning. And what's not working with the design, the squeeze mechanism only applies force when squeezed, so half the time I can't add to the rotation. So this was a good test, but let me try another design. JBV Creative has made some amazing 3D prints, and he is a master at moving parts and gears. So I asked him if I could alter one of his prints for my project. I'm actually not sure what the gear ratio is, so let me check by counting the revolutions. Okay, looks like one rotation of the crank rotates the magnet wheel 14 times. That's not bad. Checking the temperature with my thermal camera, you can see, well actually, you can't even see the aluminum since it's room temperature. So let's make a few rotations to see if we can even heat up this metal with the alternating magnets. All right, and hey, there you are, I can see you now. About 30 degrees Celsius, just after a few rotations, so this gives me hope. And I want to make this easier for me, so I'll need the assistance of a small pottery wheel, which kind of reminds me of Wally. But anyways, I want to make it spin the magnets so my hands are free to cook and film. And I'll be able to control the surface temperature by adjusting the rotation speed. I think the magnets on the bottom will help add to the strength and help hold down the magnets on top. And that looks pretty good to me. My 3D prints help hold and separate the magnets. Now for my aluminum stovetop, and I'm already regretting this tight design. I, I just looked it up, the PLA filament softens about 60 degrees Celsius. So I reprinted, and I think I can fill this gap with silicone. It's a sealant that's waterproof and can withstand short-term temperatures up to 200 Celsius. Water boils at about 100 Celsius, so this should be okay. Looking good, so hopefully this blocks the heat from transferring to the 3D printed plastic. Okay, that is just the right amount of clearance. So tiny food requires tiny pots and dishes. A good thing these pans are metal so they won't melt. And here is the very first test just to see what happens. Okay, I'm collecting my thoughts and I'm noticing some problems. First, the spinning rotation vibrates my table and the pan. I can hold down the pan, but it gets hot, about 56 Celsius, which still isn't hot enough to cook food on. So, time for some problem solving. Well, first I'd like to point out that the silicone is working great. That was a good idea, and it's stopping the heat transferring to the 3D printed plastic, so that's good. To limit the table vibrations, I'm gonna add weights. I'll add another layer of magnets to increase its magnetic strength. And I'll tie down the pan, but but not like this. Th th this didn't work. I mean, what was I thinking? Uh, no, I'll reuse the silicone sealant to hold down the pan for a constant contact area. Looks like the extra magnets are working. 66 degrees Celsius and increasing fast, so let's start cooking. I'll start by melting some butter in the pan. Then you're going to want to add in your egg whites, followed by the egg yolk. Even after just a few seconds, I can see it starting to cook. So we've got something. It ain't a lot, but it ain't nothing. I'll just uh, lightly scramble just a little bit. And keep in mind that we are cooking with alternating magnetic fields rotating under aluminum. This pottery wheel could be replaced by me spinning the 3D print. Okay, not the prettiest eggs I've ever cooked, but definitely the smallest. All right, what else? I'm gonna want some pancakes with my eggs, uh, just, just a little. 
After just a couple of minutes, it's starting to cook, but will it hold together for the flip? At this point, I'm feeling brave, so I'm just going to give it a try. And it worked. It survived the flip. And now for the final test, can it cook a small piece of fish? And let's, uh, let's spice it up. Let's add some peppers and herbs. And here's the flip. And it looks good. And you know, if you went back in time and told my younger self that one day you will grow up to spin magnets to cook tiny food, I'd, I'd say, well, I'd say, yeah, that, that checks out. That, that kind of sounds about right. So I would do that. I'd say mission accomplished. Okay, this project has been a lot of fun. I learned a lot. This was a good experience. I'm glad I could share this project with you. And I've collected a few ideas to make this project even better if I ever do it again. So I hope we can hang out again sometime. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time.